the IMS switch has a little issue with it and what that issue is is if you look here you can see that it's held together by plastic dowel pins and the plastic dowel pin is actually mushroomed on the ends you see the arrows pointing to that that's what holds this whole sandwich of detent lever and switch components together what happens is with the constant grinding of the steel detent lever against the plastic dowel pins of the switch body eventually what happens is they break off so what you're left with is something that looks like this you can see that the little mushroom parts of the dowel pins are gone so now what's going to happen is the switch is going to kind of want to spread open and at that point it's not going to range correctly and of course the computer will react as it usually does without range information and subsequent codes this can be fixed now you might say to yourself I don't have time for that nonsense I said well that's up to you I mean you can go and just throw this out and buy a new one and be done with it or if you wish you can repair this and it'll work perfectly if it was working perfectly before the dial pins broke so I'm just going to show you how to fix it, and then you can make your own decision. Okay, here we go. First thing we want to do is disassemble the switch. That's when you'll come to your copper contact points. You want to look at this really good. You want to make sure it's not broke. None of them are broken. They're not corroded. They're not burnt. If you see any kind of damage like that, then we're back to, I don't have time for this nonsense. You throw it out, you get a new one and replace it. At this, this point, that's not repairable. If it's all in good condition, then we move on. Separate the switch. There are your contact, uh, copper contact points. Be careful with this. Do not damage them. They, they can be easily damaged if you're not careful in handling this. So uh, take extra care with that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the, uh, the little uh, detent body from the assemb detent assembly. And as you can see, we'll take a closer look at this, it's a mess. So you can see that the ends of all these dowel pins are, are broken off. There might be one or two that survived uh, that aren't as beat up, but they're pretty much uh, damaged. So what we want to do first is grab a file and trim them up. We want to smooth the tops and the sides so they're nice and round and smooth and uh, that shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean it really well we want to clean this surface of the detent lever really well no grease no oil nothing no kind of material in there uh, and then we can move on with this all right now we're going to start reassembling the switch get the switch body back on the detent lever as you see here on page 34 and uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy this little uh, kit here you see this is called Bondic this is plastic weld is what it is and uh, I've seen this online anywhere from $13 to $20 so it's not real expensive it's all self-contained everything you need to repair this is self-contained in this little uh, device you see here and here's how this is going to work for you first thing I'm going to do is this is the applicator as well as the welding device this black area tube you see here is actually filled with liquid plastic and this is the applicator so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to inject some glue out of the dispenser on top of each of the broken dowel pins you see sticking out here just a drop that's all you need but what we want to do is we want to create a little dome just like a mushroom like it was originally over each of the dowel pins once you do that that's enough glue it's like that see how we create a little dome over each dowel pin and you do that to each one of them just a little dollop on each dowel pin until it looks like that and then we move on 
contained in that little kit is it, it emits a UV lamp, a light. That's ultraviolet light that comes out of there, and it is what is going to cure the glue. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it over this for four seconds each. Four or five seconds, each location, and at that point the glue, the glue is cured. I mean, done. You don't have to, there's no hour or days or anything like that. It's done in seconds. Okay, at that point, the glue is cured. This is what it looks like. It's all repaired. And the only thing you have left to do at this point is to check the circuits with your own meter. Make sure the resistance is correct. You have this on page 35. So you can go ahead and make sure that the switch is going to range correctly. Once you install it, it should work perfectly without any issues. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fix videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.